you are looking for corn and wine, a man has been blessed with corn and wine. Hi. Genesis 26. Isaac went to a land, they call it Gia. There was farmer in that land. He wanted to run like every flister. God said, are you alright? Where are you going to? Don't you know who you are? Remain here. Something is about to speak. Remain. Are you hearing me? He remained there. In that year, Genesis 26 verse 12. The Bible said, Isaac sold in that land and reaped a hundredfold the same year. A well that was dry, he will go and dig that well that will be water. Someone said the blessing. The business that is not working, you enter there to work. The line they say that not bad there because of you. You didn't hear me. Things they say that is not working because of the blessing it will produce. Isaac sold in that land and reaped a hundredfold in the same year. The Bible says, and the Lord bless him. I thought it would end in Isaac. One day Isaac was about to die. Somehow, he told Esau, get me venison. You'll be coming here as my son. You buy me, you bring uh, venison, you kill rabbit, I'll eat. I'll be telling you thank you. I'll be telling you thank you. Now I'm about to depart. Go back again and get another one. There is something I carry that helped me succeed there. Let me give it to you before I go. Because of manipulation of someone, Jacob meandered. Are you remember? He sent you down. He told Jacob, May the sons of your mother serve you. You didn't hear me? He told him, I bless you with corn and wine. Do you know which kind? Of you are not hearing me. You are not with me. Genesis chapter 27. It's 19. If you read it down. A man, you are looking for corn and wine. A man has been blessed with corn and wine. Hi. I hear you. And Jacob said to his father, I am Esau. I have done according to all that bless me. Arise, I pray thee, sit and eat my venison, that my soul may do what? Bless me. Give us 28. Let me show you. See the blessing. He didn't give. Therefore, God give thee of what? Of the dew of heaven. And of the fatness of the earth. And the plenty of what? Corn and what? Wine. You see how men succeed? Corn and, you are looking for corn and wine. A man has been what? Blessed with corn and wine. That is why even the little you have, you gotta give it to you without knowing. Give us the next one. Let me show you. Let people serve thee. And nations bow down to thee. Imagine what a man was giving one man. Be Lord over thy brethren. And let thy mother's son bow down to thee. Cause be everyone that cursed you. And bless be anyone that blessed you. That's why you don't fight a man of blessing. You will get blessed when you bless that man. Stand up, let me put something in your life. I don't know what has followed you before now. He said, The blessing of the Lord make it rich. He added, No, something heavy is upon me now. I sense an unction of the Holy Ghost. I sense an anointing that can reposition a man's destiny. I sense an option that can terminate cause and lack. Isaac said unto his son, Be blessed with the dew of heaven and of the fatness of the earth. He told him, I bless you with the corn and wine. Any power that I vow that your business will not prosper. Every witchcraft power that I vow that you know I say, I come with the blessing of the Lord that make it richer and then no sorrow. I declare you are blessed. Upon your business, upon your work of hands, upon your career, upon your office. I declare it is blessed by the blessing of the Lord. I receive from my father the blessing that make it rich and added no sorrow. As you shout them, I declare you are blessed. And get the badabash. He said, Cause be anyone who curse you, and blessed be anyone who bless you. From now, anyone that bless you is blessed. Whoever that calls you is called. Someone shout, I am blessed. See that? It looks so simple. But by the time you go out tomorrow, strange, strange thing, supernatural favor, something you could not explain will follow you. Do you hear what I just said? It looks so simple. But by the time you live here, you carry a unique ambience. 